unlocking, routing, flashing custom ROMs, doing experiments with your phone is a bit enjoyable for a certain limit of time. But after that, you want back your stock ROM back. So in this video, I will show you how to install Android Marshmallow stock ROM in the Motorola Moto G 3rd generation to run 15. So let's begin. This is the Motorola Moto G 3rd generation 2015 version. So currently I am on stock ROM but you can do this process on custom ROM or in the boot loop. So let me show you in the about phone my device model is XT1550. So you have to download the stock ROM of the same variant. There are too many RAM, uh, ROM variant in the link in the description box. Just go to that XDA page and you will find too many models. Download for your specific model. So I have my Indian version. I will download for that. And I have downloaded Stroke ROM Marshmallow. Now going into the about phone, tapping the build number 7 times, turn on the USB debugging and also allow it. After that you have to power off your device. Make sure backup of all your data and battery must be 80%. Download some of the files, link in the description box. So download these drivers first. So there are 3 drivers here. So first of all let's install Motorola drivers. All the link in the description box so not to worry and I already installed this Motorola driver so I am not installing it again but you have to install this. Next we have to install this ADB setup. Now run as admin. Now it will open in CMD in blue color. You have to press Y enter. Press Y again enter. Press Y again and enter. Now it will install ADB drivers. Now you have to install minimal ADB and fast boot and this is the most important otherwise you will not able to flash the stock ROM. Now next install is and also know this location where it is installing because we have to go to that location and extract the stock ROM. I have already installed that so I am not installing it again. Now this is the command file. What command we have to use to flash the stock ROM is this command. Link in the description box of this notepad and this is the stock ROM zip file. And you have to download this for your specific model otherwise your device will be bricked so download that only now also check in the command the command which are flash name fastboot flash so the flash name file are flashable means the file must be present in the stock room and also see the system file system spark chunk so the file is 0 1 2 3 4 if you have another file extra file spark chunk 5 6 7 8 make another command and rename it as a 5 but I have not the system file after the 4 so I am not just adding any command now after that you have to extract this extract this where you have installed minimal ADU and fast boot that's why I am telling that know that location so it is in the local disk C program files and we have to extract all these files in this local disk C so I will copy this address from here and paste in the extract and now ok now it's extracting all the files in the minimal ADB and fast boot so wait for few minutes after it's extracting all the files now you can see all the files are here now check the files again if there are file missing otherwise your device may get brick or you will not able to install the stock ROM so do check twice because it's very risky process and also now open the command prompt now let's go to the bootloader while pressing volume down and power key up to 5 to 6 seconds now we are in the bootloader mode our device bootloader is unlocked status code is 3 now connect this USB cable from the PC and now you can see here the USB is connected now keep your phone on the table now everything process will be on PC so now type fastboot devices here to check whether the device has been connected or not. So device has been connected. I have opened this CMD by right click mouse plus shift and open command window here. Now we have to type this first command fastboot oem lock begin to lock the bootloader. Now just uh, paste this and now it's written here fully flash stock from first then you can only lock the bootloader means lock the bootloader. So we have to flash this file. Now start the process. Now copy the command one by one here. Now hit enter after each command. Copy 
and paste the command in the notepad paste the command in the cmd and hit enter so it's a very lengthy process so i'm just skipping this all the parts and do it yourself So only two three commands are remaining here. So I'm showing down the second last thing is the fastboot OEM F remote clear. Now hit enter. Now don't write this command fastboot reboot. Just type fastboot OEM lock. Hit enter. Now device bootloader will get locked. See here status code two. Now type the command fastboot reboot. Um, so type here fastboot reboot and hit enter. Now device will get reboot. Now one thing is left which is this warning bootloader unlocked sim. So we have to remove this and we will do this after the completing of the setup wizard. So first of all we will do the setup wizard and I will show you the memory storage left. Then I will show you the method how to flash the boot logo. So booting will take approximately 15 to 20 minutes. So be patient don't be scared. Now after that complete the setup wizard. So I am just skipping this part. We have the stock ROM back Android Marshmallow which is the latest version. If you receive any system update you can do this also. But don't downgrade your system otherwise your device may get break. So you have the Google now on tab feature also in the Android Marshmallow which is the main proof of this Android Marshmallow stock ROM. Let me show you in the settings the Android version also. Now here it is Android 6.0 which is the Marshmallow. So new system update is already available. The approximately size is 370 MB so you can do this also. And the memory is 1.3 GB left. And the storage is you can see on this. And now power of the device again because we have to flash the boot logo. Now press volume down first and then power key up to 5 to 6 second. And then you will see the boot loader mode. Now connect this with the PC. Now open the command window. But first of all you have to download this logo file. We have to flash this logo file. Now before that we have to delete the previous logo file which is extracted from the stock ROM. So search for it and delete that logo file. Now just paste this logo new logo file which you have downloaded separately in the minimal adband fastboot folder. Now you can close this CMD or you can do this also in the same CMD. Now shift plus right mouse click will open command window here and now type fastboot devices to check whether your device has been connected or not. Now you'll see that device has been connected. So we have to type fastboot flash logo logo dot bin and after that hit enter. Now type fastboot reboot to reboot the device. Now every process of flashing is done. So now device is now rebooting and now see the bootloader warning sign has been removed and new bootloader is here. So now new boot logo is here. So congrats guys we have done the successful process of flashing roms and boot logo also. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this video hit the like button and also share this video. And if you have any type of problem about this video or this Motorola Moto J3 do post in the comment box. And also subscribe the channel for more videos and I will catch you guys in the next video.